hello everyone so in this video let us learn how to display images on your kanban board or basically any boards it works on scrum board as well now in jira of course you now we can have uh, projects and when you have projects uh, then depending upon how you want to work on those projects you may want to also configure boards and boards are useful of course because when you have boards you can then uh, you know visualize the work and uh, people who are actually new to jira or basically if people are coming from another tool let us say trello or uh, some other tool to be honest i don't i don't know if uh, there are other tools that can do this but usually when people come to a new tool like in in our case we are talking about jira they expect something similar or they expect uh, ease of use so because we have been working on jira for many years we actually find it quite uh, you know simple but it is not really the case for everyone now one useful feature that you may want to do and by the way this was not there earlier but now we have it uh, i think it was it has been there for a while now but uh, and i am not sure really sure if i showed you so basically if you have the board with of course the issues and these issues are basically your uh, your your cards right so you call them cards now the, the the thing is that you may want to have some images and uh, these images of course could be useful um although i personally don't massively care about it but i understand for many people they want to have you know images if you have some images for these cards so that they can visually see uh what this task is all about uh so if you go to a particular issue so if i go to this issue and if i want to maybe attach a file of course i can and uh, i'll probably i'll probably do it so that i can show you so if you go to your uh, attachments come on where is the attachment option okay attach and i'll uh, select here uh, one image and maybe i'll select here one more image because why not so we have two images right and these images if you go back to your uh, board and if you refresh it it won't really show up on the board so this is something uh, that we can definitely change and doing this is actually very simple all you need to do you just need to go to this uh, configure board option then go to card uh, layout and when you are in the card layout you can basically try to add these fields so because we added this attachment field you might think of adding attachment field but uh, you basically have to use the uh, images and you can basically add it i'm trying to add it in the backlog to see how it how it looks whether it will uh, work or not but you can also because we are trying to add this image in the card view and uh, you can add the uh, images field and then if you go to your uh, your board if you refresh you might have to do like a hard refresh like in my case i'm doing control shift r it will look something like this so it, it looks all right and we are talking about sample sprint 2 uh i'm i'm not really sure how it will look like on the on the issue itself let us just do a refresh like here as well so we were we were looking at ssp 11 why don't we have ssp 11 here so ssp 11 is is not even there or maybe it's a sub task yeah so this is basically the sub task and if you hover your mouse on top of your uh, ssp11 you can see this image it looks okay to be honest just showing you a preview uh i'll probably add the same image uh, on my actual task so i'll attach the file and uh, i'll i'll basically attach it i'll go back control shift r and uh, maybe i'll just do it one more time it didn't work okay so we can see this you know small icon here and uh, i think it is okay because uh, it is not of course uh showing us everything like all the images if you have two images but it is still showing you an image uh, although the image aspect ratio is now messed up but it's okay uh but i think the card uh also the column view is showing us so which is nice and uh, if i go back to my ssp 10 or maybe i'll go oh yeah ssp 10 let's go to go to go, go to the ssp 10 i will update the due date field because i want to see if something shows up on the calendar so if i look look at the calendar of course this is my calendar 
and if I go to my SSP 10, I can uh, uh, go to the due date field. If I have due date field, I'm not really sure. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, this one, no. Um, I'll probably add it to my screen or, or maybe, 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 maybe. I don't really want to create a new one. So let us, let me just quickly take a look at uh, the field or the screen specifically. And I want to see if calendar shows this because in the calendar, you basically are looking at all the issues with a due date, right? So this is something that you can, uh, you can see how so it says, uh, show calendar item releases and sprints. Okay. So are we looking at anything here? I mean, uh, I'll probably add, uh, okay, so I'll, I'll probably add here uh, a due date. Hopefully that will, that will work. But I'm, I, I mean, I know it will work, but I just want to see how the fields or how the images field will display if it displays. So I'll add here due date and uh, I'll go back to the issue. Um, and then I will update the field. Come on, where is my due date? This is okay. Uh, it, it is really embarrassing. So let me just try to uh, because I was trying to create, I'm not really sure why I'm not able to create uh, the issues here because usually I remember in the in the timeline, I mean, in the calendar view, you can actually create the issues or maybe that was not a thing. Okay, let us look at the list view. So in the list view, you have the option to add few fields. Let us see if the images show up. So images field will not show up here, but I want to show you one more thing. I want to show you one more thing. If you go to your issue navigator um, and uh, basically if you perform a search, come on, it is uh, filter, view all filter. I, I mean, as you can see, I don't massively enjoy working on cloud. So in the issue uh, navigator, you can actually add uh, a column for image. So if you add here images and if you click somewhere outside, the whole view will hopefully refresh. Okay, so now we have this column called images and I think we are looking at SSP 11. Do we have SSP 11 here? I'll just get rid of the text here and I'll perform a search maybe based on the recently created issues. Okay, so come on. Updated order by updated. Okay. Now if I go to my last column, it will show these images. So I just wanted to quickly, you know, show you these things because I, to be honest, I think on the, on the board itself, it should, it is fine. I mean, it looks all right, but, uh, if you're looking at the backlog view or even your issue, issue navigator, although you have the image, but it is, you know, not, not nice. It is not really great, but you know, now you know the possibilities and that is it. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.